Welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to be doing Wolverine, Marvel's Wolverine comic book version. The only equipment we will need today is a pencil, rubber, and a ruler. So let's jump right in and begin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sketch out a circle of the head. So if we just start at the centre of the page from the top and we'll draw a rough circle. I just like to do this a few times, layering it round. And then we're going to put a dot in the middle and then a straight line through the middle. And once you've done that, we're going to do a second line just above at the bottom of the circle to find the eye line. Right, and then I'm just going to draw a triangle in the middle, nice and equal over both sides. And this is going to be a starting point. And I'm just going to arrow up on the left and on the right two eyebrows. And then along the line, we're going to add in the eyes. So it's like an upside down capital D. And I'm going to do a little flick on the left side of the eye. And then the same on the right. I'm going to start the eye and upside down D going all the way across along, along the line little flick on the right side, just like on the other side, and down. So it's like a half circle. And now we've got his eyes. So once we've got his eyes, we're just going to arrow down the eyebrows. So once the eyebrows go up, they come down beyond the eye. And then we just want to thicken the eyebrows up. So we'll draw these in as shapes. So it's like a rectangle and then a triangle. Now, what we've done on the left, we just need to pretty much do on the right hand side of the eyebrow. So the same again up for the facial expression. I'm going to shade this in in a rectangular shape. And at the top, it's going to come up and down beyond the eye. So just a little further. Then we're going to add in the iris on both sides. I think I've done that one a little close. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to add in some texture lines in the middle of the eyebrows, little creases, and we're going to start on the nose. So then I was going straight down two lines and put a couple more lines each side of the eye. And then one underneath the eye and the same on the other side. And if we just draw a little circle for where the nose is going to come down to. And then curve it. And then we can just bring a nostril up on each side. Shade it in a little bit. So the middle of the nose we're going to draw in. And then we just want to do the nostril going up and then down on each side. So again, it goes up and it curves down. If we just darken around the nose a little bit more. And then we just roughly draw in some lines for where his mouth dimples are. And then at the top, we'll add in some more creases for his facial expression. a couple on each side and then one more in the middle and that gives us a good facial expression so now we can make a start on the lips so we're just going to line up from the eyes so let's draw a straight line down from each eye and that's roughly where we're going to do the lips to so I'm just going to darken this eye and I'll darken the other one. Get it stand out a little bit. Right, so we've got the lips lined up. And just colour that in. Here we go. Right, so the lips, we want to draw a curved line 
and he's got like a thin lip at top that curves in the middle. So it just goes like so. And just zoom out at this point. So just darken the middle line up for the lip. And then we just want to put in the bottom lip so it's slightly further down. It's a bit fatter, the bottom lip. And curves slightly up on each end. We're not going to fully connect it. So we'll just leave it like that. Once we've done that, we're going to just do a few light dots underneath the bottom lip for his beard. And then we're going to put in a little dimple for his chin. And then we'll just carry on. we we'll try and find roughly how far down we want to do his chin. So we just roughly mark it out here with a curved line. And then we can try and find how to fit his face in. So I'm just going to extend his eyebrows out a little further on both sides. Put a few more dimples on each side of his forehead. And then his face will start in line with his eyes, it'll curve. And then I'm just going to line up from top of his left nostril where his cheekbone will come in. And the same on the right side. The nostril and the cheekbone will curve out. And then from that we're just going to drink, bring a straight line down to join towards the chin. Now we need to add in his beard. So I'm just going to double these lines up here for his beard. At this point, you just want to put in a little triangle just to the side of each side of his lips. Beard starts with a couple of triangles just near where his dimple from his nose comes. I'm just going to put a dot either side and that can another triangle there and pull that line straight down. Just another triangle in line with the other side and then straight down. Now at the bottom, he's got a little bit of beard thick beard and that's going to curve round to join on both sides. So we do that very thin layer for the bottom of the chin, then the beard will go out wide and then back in. On the side part we just want to make it curve slightly. So we curve it up so it looks like it's going further back and then up. So on the left side, we just bring the beard down and round, just like we did on the other side. I'm just going to straighten this side up a little bit. You've got a very square chin at the minute. So we're just adding a couple of lines for the neck. And if we just start working up at the top end, bring his face in and then it goes back out. So it comes in towards his dimple, on his temple, and then back out. And then we're just going to add in a curve for his fringe on this left side. So he's got like two strands of thick hair curving round, coming off his fringe. And we're going to bring that around to the centre point of his forehead. And put a little scape, scrape. In the middle, bring that round. He's got a little bit of a flick on that right bit. I'm just going to thicken this strand up and then thicken this so it curves more. Right, so we've got his forehead done. Just thicken the lines up for his cheekbones. Just rub that little bit out. There we go. So now we we'll bring the beard up. Now what we want to do is try and put in where his hair is going to go. So his hair comes up both sides. I'm just going to draw like a triangle upside down for the top of his hair and then curve it at the top. And then if we just line it from these lines we already had from the circle, if you follow these lines up from the eyes diagonally, we're going to do a pointed triangle on the sides. 
but slightly curvy. And then the side on the left is going to come all the way down to where the cheekbone is. So we just line it up with the cheekbone and then curve that one round to the point at the top. So we've got roughly where his hair is going to go. Now we need to add in the ears. So ears go in line with the top of the eye and the bottom part of the ear goes in line with the bottom part of the cheekbone. So he's just sticking his ear on this left side. And the same again on the right. So line it up, bottom part of the cheekbone, or the bottom of the nose, top of the eye. And then bring it down with a curve. Add some lines for the interior of the eye, ear, sorry. Just lower this one, I've done that, not quite in line. Right, so we've just put some details in on his neck for like his muscle. And then bring down his traps. They go a little bit wider than his neck. So just line that up the same on both sides, just stick it out. At the bottom, now we're gonna put in a couple more flicks for the back of his hair. So we're gonna do three triangles. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Three triangles coming off his ear and coming down to just to the top of his neck. Now we've got his guidelines on the side for his hair, but we're going to do them jagged triangular finishes. So as we go up, we're going to do four spikes on this left side. And just stick a cone around. And the same on the other side, we're going to do one, two, I'll fit in another triangle. And then I think we'll put four here on this side. And then it's going to go in and up to join in the middle. Same again on the right side, put a flick in, a few more flicks. We just put a few texture lines in for his hair, show the direction of his strands of hair. Now here's where his beard starts. So I'll put the lines going this way on the right side and they'll meet in the middle. I'm going to curve them out from his scalp. Curve them out. Towards the left, on the left, and on the right, curve them right. And just throw a few lines in the bottom part of his hair. Now I just need to add in some for his beard. I'm just going to curve his beard on this right side a little bit more. I'm going to rub that little bit out. I'm going to rub that in, put it back in the middle. I'm just going to fill in his facial hair. Some lines going up on the side. And then for where his tash is, I'm going to do just some light dots, like stubble for his goatee and moustache. So we just lightly dot around shadow, five o'clock shadow. And we'll dot a little bit around the sides where his beard is. A few more dots on his tash. Across his lip. And up the sides of his beard. Right. What I have forgot to do is, what I would have usually done earlier is rub out some of the guidelines, because they're now in the way. So we just rub out the guidelines that we've put in across the hair. And we've got some in the middle and the nose and the eyes, where we put the circle. So just rub out all the guidelines. And we'll just continue to finish off on the neck. So we do his collarbone. 
I'm just curving it over. I'm going to make his hair a little bit higher in the middle. So I'm just going to rub that a little bit up and make his hair a little bit higher up. So we want to, I think we'll put him in a vest because Wolverine does tend to have a vest on in the films. So we've got his jawline. Looking decent. We'll do his chest in the middle. And then we'll just bring like his vest strap down on the just coming over the shoulder. We'll curve it a little bit. It's just like a tank top coming down and then his shoulder. And we can't really see anymore. I'll just finish off by rubbing out his nose where I put the circle bit in. That's pretty much done, I think. So we're all finished now. So basically you can go over it in a biro like I'm going to do. Or you can just leave it as pencil and colour it in any way you want. And thanks for watching. Leave any suggestions in the comments for any other future tutorials we should do.